The Expanding Universe. A journey through space and time our universe is in a constant state of expansion, a stretching of space that continues endlessly, making it nearly impossible to define where it truly begins or ends. And yet, with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we are now seeing farther into the cosmos than ever before. Since its launch, JWST has allowed scientists, including renowned experts like Brian Cox, to uncover astonishing details about the universe's scale. What our instruments detect is just a narrow glimpse, a tiny window into what might be an endless expanse. Within the observable universe, astronomers estimate the presence of roughly two trillion galaxies. And that's only what we can currently detect. The universe beyond our reach might be far more enormous, mysterious, and possibly infinite. We aren't distant viewers looking in from the outside. We are an inseparable part of this grand system. As the late Carl Sagan beautifully said, we are a way for the universe to know itself. With every image JWST returns, we move one step closer to answering the timeless question. How big is the universe, really? To grasp these mind-bending scales, let's start small. At a steady speed of 70 miles per hour, you could circle the Earth's equator in about 15 days. At that speed, it would take you 5 months to reach the Moon, 63 years to reach Mars at its closest, and over 4,400 years to get to Neptune. Even Voyager 1, which was launched in 1977 and travels at 38,000 miles per hour, took 35 years to leave our solar system. Now consider light, the fastest thing known to science. It can circle Earth 7 times in a single second. Yet even light struggles to cross the unimaginable distances between stars and galaxies. And still, our solar system is just a dot compared to our Milky Way galaxy, which contains about 300 billion stars, many with their own planets. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. At Voyager's current speed, it would take around 70,000 years to reach it. These numbers stretch beyond our daily comprehension. Take Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star about 640 light years from Earth. When you see its reddish twinkle in the night sky, you're witnessing light that left the star over six centuries ago, before much of modern history even began. Our radio signals, our voice into the universe, have only been traveling for around 100 years, forming a bubble called the radiosphere, that is just 200 light years across, having reached only a tiny fraction of stars in the Milky Way. To visualize our place in the cosmos, imagine shrinking the entire solar system to the size of a coin. On that scale, the Milky Way would be the size of planet Earth. And beyond our galaxy lie a trillion others. Let's put a trillion in perspective. Think of 1,000 groups of 1,000 cats, that gives you a million. Now imagine a million such groups. That's a trillion. Our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, sits about 2.5 million light-years away and contains around a trillion stars. It's moving toward us, and in several billion years, it will merge with the Milky Way. But despite the collision, stars are so far apart that most will simply pass each other harmlessly. Zooming out further, we encounter the local group of galaxies, then the Virgo Cluster, which contains over 1,500 galaxies, and beyond that lies the Laniakea Supercluster, home to over 100,000 galaxies. Still, this is just the visible tip of the iceberg. Scientists estimate there are about 10 million superclusters within the observable universe. Each of these contains countless galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. But these superclusters aren't scattered randomly. They form part of a much larger structure, the cosmic web, a vast network of filaments made of gas, dust, dark matter, and galaxies stretching across billions of light years. These filaments are the scaffolding of the universe, holding everything together through the subtle pull of gravity. Galaxies cluster along these filaments like pearls on a string. They shape the universe's architecture, acting like invisible highways guiding the movement of galaxies across space. These structures are vast, yet they're just the observable framework of something likely far grander. Beyond the galaxies and clusters we can see lies the cosmic microwave background, the oldest light in the universe, a relic from about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. 
This faint glow is the afterlight of creation, even the regions of space that appear empty to our eyes, known as cosmic voids, are far from meaningless. These vast, seemingly desolate zones stretch across hundreds of millions of light years, containing only a fraction of the matter found elsewhere in the universe. They look silent, dark, and lifeless, but in their stillness they harbor great mystery. Far from being abandoned corners of the cosmos, these voids may represent the blank canvas of future creation. As the universe continues to evolve over billions of years, matter might drift into these underdense regions, pulled by gravity's slow but relentless influence. New galaxies could form in places that today appear completely empty, igniting fresh cycles of birth, growth, and transformation. In this way, the voids are not the universe's end, but its beginning in disguise. The universe is not static. It is a living system of cosmic rhythms and cycles of transformation. Stars emerge from clouds of gas and dust, burn brilliantly across millions or billions of years, and then die in spectacular events like supernovae. These cataclysmic explosions scatter the heavy elements, carbon, oxygen, iron, that make planets, oceans, and life itself possible. From the ashes of dead stars, new stars and planetary systems arise. This recycling of stardust is the engine of cosmic creativity. It is the process that, over time, turned raw hydrogen into galaxies, planets, trees, and people. Black holes, the most mysterious of all celestial objects, play a critical role in this drama. Their gravity is so intense that not even light can escape their grasp. At the heart of nearly every galaxy lies a supermassive black hole, millions or even billions of times more massive than our sun. These invisible giants shape the structure of galaxies, regulate star formation, and can unleash jets of energy so powerful they stretch across thousands of light years. And then there are quasars, among the brightest and most energetic objects in existence. Powered by matter spiraling into supermassive black holes, quasars can outshine entire galaxies. They are beacons from the early universe, their light traveling billions of years to reach us offering rare glimpses into the universe's ancient past. And yet, despite all that we've uncovered, one question continues to haunt us. What lies beyond the limits of our vision? There are galaxies so distant, so far removed by the relentless stretching of space, that their light has not yet reached Earth, and perhaps never will. Because of the universe's accelerating expansion, some regions are receding from us faster than light itself can travel. These unreachable areas lie forever outside our observational reach, beyond the cosmic horizon. They exist, but we may never know them. Still, using the tools of physics, mathematics, and computer simulations, cosmologists can estimate what might lie beyond. Some models suggest that the universe is at least 250 times larger than the portion we can observe. Other theories go even further, proposing that the cosmos is truly infinite with no boundary, no edge, and no central point. This revelation is staggering. It challenges the limits of human thought. If our observable universe is just one small region within a vastly larger, perhaps endless whole, then what we perceive is just a drop in an unfathomable ocean. We live in a cosmic sea, and all the galaxies, stars, and wonders we've discovered so far exist on just a tiny island within it. So, what does this mean for us, fragile, conscious beings clinging to a pale blue dot circling an ordinary star, in one galaxy among trillions? It means everything. It reminds us that our existence is both miraculous and fragile. That out of all the vast emptiness, somehow, life found a way to emerge, and to wonder. It teaches us humility, but also a sense of deep connection. We are not separate from the universe. We are made of it. We are stardust that learn to see and question the stars. And as we stare deeper into the cosmos, seeking answers, another timeless question grows louder in the silence. Are we truly alone? In a universe this vast, this ancient, this mysterious, could there be others, asking the same question, watching the same stars, hoping they are not alone? We may not know the answer in our lifetimes. But the search itself, the curiosity, the wonder, the journey, that is what makes us human. And that, perhaps, is the universe's 